Hello friends. Today we are going to start a new topic indirect speech of imperative and exclamatory sentences. So move on to our slide. Indirect speech or indirect speech of imperative sentences. So before going to the indirect speech of sentences, we should know that which sentence sentences are in the are imperative sentences and which sentences are exclamatory sentences so in today's lecture we'll go we're going to start imperative sentences first so what are imperative sentences a sentence that expresses a comment a request advice or a suggestion it's called imperative sentences here are some examples. Let's see it. First, common type imperative sentences like open the door. It's a command. See this picture. Open the door. It's a command. Type imperative sentences. Please help me. It's a request type sen imperative sentence. Next, we see two other examples. Quit smoking. It's an advice as we have learned in that the sentences which refers to any request, any advice or any comment, that sentences are called imperative sentences. So these sentences are imperative sentences like quit smoking. It's an advice. It's an advice. Don't make noise. It's a comment. These are some examples of imperative sentences. Now come to our topic that in which way we can change this imperative sentences from direct speech to indirect speech so here is the rules as imperative sentences have comment or order a request an advice or a suggestion so to change the indirect speech so to change the indirect speech some specific verbs like requested order advised forward suggested these verbs are used in place of said and told and other rules are as remained other rules are not changed only this said and told that is changed to request order advised forward suggested exam etc etc so these will be used accordingly this will be used accordingly for a request sentence request will be used for an order sentence order will be used for advisory sentence advice will be used so to know which type of sentences are there we should practice many sentences i have given some of the examples before and now also i will give some examples so let's see the examples how to convert Okay. With visualizations, concept learning, and movie-like videos, Baiju's is the best way to learn at home. Bhai ke ladai, khatam karo. Let's download the Baiju's app now. Okay, see it. Direct speech. One example there. In direct speech, it is said that teacher said to him, teacher said to him, don't waste your time. It's which type of sentence? Don't waste your time. It's an advisory sentence. Teacher is advising to not waste your time. So simply he has said to, he changed to advised. Teacher advised him not to waste his time. Simple change. No other rules are there. That other may, might, conversion, that tense conversion will be done. But here, said to will be convert to advised. This is the only rule for imperative sentences. Next, you see it. Next example. Direct speech. He said to her, please lend me your camera for one day. What is the speech here? He said to her, please lend me your camera for one day. It's a request. You should identify which sentence it is. Then only we can convert it into requested. It is a request type sentence. So here in place of said to, requested is used. 
he requested her to lend him a camera for one day simple change no other changes is there okay so next move to our next use in direct speech he said to his servant he said to his servant clean the room it's a order he said to his servant to clean the room it's order to simply change said to to order no uh, it is the easiest form of transformation of direct speech to indirect speech exclamatory and imperative sentences it's the easiest form to simply identify the sentence first it is order sentence request sentence or common sentence then accordingly used ordered requested commanded in place of said to okay next next coming to indirect speech for exclamatory sentences indirect speech for exclamatory sentences a sentence that express a state of sorrow joy wonder is known as exclamatory sentences the sentence that express what in the imperative sentence it expresses a request a command or or a order but here it is it, it expresses state of sorrow joy wonder this this sorrow joy and wonder if it expresses these type of expression then it is exclamatory sentences for example hooray i have won the competition it's a state of joy it's a state of joy so it is a exclamatory sentence next alas i couldn't qualify the exam it is state of sorrow three types i have seen wonder joy sorrow three types expression first type of given the example of one joy that is hooray and if we see this exclamation mark it is also a good trick to know it is exclamation sentence but to change said to we need to identify it is state of sorrow state of wonder or state of joy then only we can convert it accordingly so alas i couldn't qualify the exam it is state of sorrow wow what a beautiful car it is state of wonder okay so going to next slide now we we'll learn some rules for exclamatory sentences first rule the only and first rule is as an imperative sentence we have changed said to into some specific words here also we will change it into some specific words like exclaimed with joy exclaimed with sorrow here the word used is remember this exclaimed is extra word used exclaimed all in exclaimed is used and if it is a joy you will write exclaimed with joy if it is of sorrow you will write exclaimed with sorrow and if it is wonder we will write exclaimed with wonder so we will lead it by learning some examples आकाशियंस की तैयारी को रखे 100 परसेंट आज कीजिए पढ़ाई ऑनलाइन शुरू कल करेंगे क्लासरूम में कंटिन्यू ओके कमिंग टू एग्जाम्पल्स फर्स्ट इज दे सेड हुए हैव वन द गेम हुए एक्सक्लामेशन मार्क कन्फर्म दैट इट इज एक्सक्लामेटोरी सेंटेंस सो वी कन्वर्ट दैट सेड इन टू एक्सक्लेम फर्स्ट then identify the first rule is to identify the sentence it is a exclamatory sentence the second rule is conversion of said into exclaimed then identification of which type of sentence it is which type of sentence it is a joy i have won the game with the type of joy expression so they exclaimed with joy that they had won the game he said alas i failed the test alas what is that alas here it is exclamation type sentence first step second step conversion of said into exclaim done 
third step identification of the sentence then it's a sorrow type sentence so simply write exclaimed with sorrow that he had failed the test that some that verb changes and some other changes as in the first video okay so next move to our next slide come to next three examples practice you should practice many examples such that we will be master in the topic he said hooray i have bought a new t-shirt it's a sentence of joy so simply write exclaim with joy here wow what a beautiful flower it is a state of wonder it is a state of wonder so it is what a wonderful flower it's a state of wonder so here exclaimed with wonder and for the sorrow that Oh, I lost my purse. It's a expression of sorrow. So it is simply converted into C exclaimed with sorrow. So remember all the rules that first rule is conversion. First rule is identification of sentence. Either it is exclamatory or imperative. If exclamatory, then convert said into exclaimed first. Then identify which type of sentence it is. Either it is joy, either it is wonder, or it is sorrow, then only you write exclaimed with joy, exclaimed with wonder, or exclaimed with sorrow. So moving to the next slide. Some super rules. There's some new rules. The first super rule is sentence beginning with let. You note down these rules because imperative and exclamatory are not much harder. But this is the some special cases. If the sentence beginning with let. Then you see the example first. Veena said, let us go for a moving in the evening. Let us go for a moving. Here let is used. Let us go for a movie. Let is used so it expresses a suggestion. If let expresses a suggestion here, if let expresses a suggestion here, then simply convert said into suggested. For let, if you see let, then simply convert said into suggested then accordingly change the inside verbs understood now to the second example renu said to me let us decide something quickly let is used here so simply direct change that said into suggested first simply change said into suggested the only one rule is Changing let if let we are finding in a sentence, then simply change said into suggested. Okay, so next slide. Offer that offer to advance with something to advance with something. If offer and suggestion type sentence, comma offer. If offer is there, shall I bring you some tea? It's a offer. Someone is offering you. So you may write here. No outside any subject is there. She is telling or he is telling. So you may choose anything. You may choose any subject, any person. Either it is a male, either it is a female. Here the sentence is like this. Don't confuse in these type of sentences because in these type of sentences, no need of he said, she said. Simply these type of sentences will come in exam. Shall I bring you some coffee? It's an offer. Someone is offering. Who is offering? Someone is offering. It may, may be he, may be she. So I have written here he, he offered to bring me some tea. If it is a suggestion also, then no need of outer verb like he said, she said. So simply here, it is an offer, so change it to offered. If it is a suggestion, then change it to suggested. Don't confuse in these type of sentences that here Sal is there, Sal I have bring, but no he said, no she said is there. Don't confuse in these cases. If it is an offer type sentence, then simply write somebody, X person offered to bring me some coffee. Here Y person. Suggested if it's suggestion that shall we meet it's a suggestion. It's not an offer. It's a suggestion if that is suggestion then meet at the theater 
Thank you.